What you guys got another video on how to activate Windows 11. Now, Windows 11 is a free upgrade from Windows 10. So if you've got a version of Windows 10 already activated, you don't need to worry. It's going to automatically activate during the uh, upgrade process to Windows 11. Now, if you've got a version of Windows 10 and it's not activated, then you can activate Windows 10 and then roll out the update to Windows 11 or wait until the official release of Windows 11 and then get yourself a, a key which you can purchase and then activate it that way. Now, if you do want to use Windows 11 or you want to give it a try, then go through the Windows Insider program. It's the safest way of getting your hands on a legitimate version of Windows 11. So let's go ahead and activate this version of Windows 11. Once you get to the activation window here, we can click on change product key. This is where you're going to enter your product key. So if you've got a Windows 10 product key or a Windows 8 product key, or you've got a Windows 7 product key, you can put it in here and then click next and it will uh, activate as you can see right here. I'm just going to go through the process here. Now, because this is a free upgrade uh, to Windows 11, uh, you can literally roll out an upgrade uh, to this latest version if you've got a PC that can handle or run Windows 11. So as you can see, we managed to activate Windows 11 Pro and it's all now activated properly as you'd expect. Now that was done with a Windows 10 Pro key and I purchased one of these and I activated this version of uh, Windows 11. Now you can go ahead and activate Windows 10 first if you wish and then roll out the upgrade to Windows 11 if that's what you want to do. It's entirely up to you. But yes, you can activate Windows 11 with a Windows 10 Pro key or Windows 8 or Windows 7 as far as I know. Now we'll say that if you're looking to activate Windows 11 or any other version of Windows, buy yourself a legitimate license key. There is plenty of videos on YouTube showing illegal ways of activating Windows, including Windows 11. Don't follow those uh, tutorials because what's going to happen is you're going to end up getting infected because a lot of these scripts are going out and linking up to a, a website and basically downloading files to activate that version of Windows illegally. And you're going to end up getting yourself infected with malware or a backdoor or Trojan or something like that and end up causing yourself lots of problems. So get yourself a legitimate license key and activate Windows 11 the proper way. Now, another quick topic I want to touch on is Windows 11 does require TPM uh, 2.0. Now, I have noticed there is a script which people are uh, spreading around on the Internet. Do not use it. It has got code in there that connects to a Russian server, which is not good to be running on your system. You'd have no clue of what that is doing or where it's going or what they're downloading in the background. And I would just be very careful and avoid them like the plague. Another thing I've noticed as well is a lot of KMS activation videos and a lot of illegal activation of Windows 11 and other versions of Windows. Don't use those uh, methods of activating Windows. It's far too dangerous and you're just going to probably end up getting infected. So just get yourself a legitimate license key and activate it the way I showed you there and you should have no problems using your computer. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.